So now we're going to get a look outside the old mill can. Uh, it's still shaky a little bit, but you can see downtown Salt Lake City very clearly. Deer Valley, Bald Mountain, socked in with the clouds. They're still getting snow up in the mountains. And in Salt Lake City, it's chilly as we dive into our afternoon. Upper 40s, feeling more like the mid 40s. So this is about 15 degrees colder than this time yesterday. Below freezing in areas like Park City and Evanston, you're at 35 in Bear Lake. Most folks across the Wasatch Front ranging from the mid 40s to the upper 40s. 62 in St. George and also in Blanding. Um, and you can see things are clear and calm through southern and central Utah. But as I zip you into northern Utah, um, some of our snow and rain not picking up on radar right now. They're actually working on our satellite radar, but you can see we still have some scattered rain and snow showers actually just about 45 minutes ago. Some snow that moved through Ogden again. And so we still have some of those lingering showers that are going to stick around this afternoon, even though they are starting to taper off. Now we're going to dry out later on today going into tomorrow, but we have another storm that we have our eyes on. It's in the Pacific Northwest. It's going to dip down along the coast and it'll send another cold front into Utah Wednesday night into Thursday. As for this afternoon, Things are going to get gusty again, specifically through south central Utah. We don't have any wind advisories, but you can see gusts up to about 40 miles per hour as we go into our afternoon strengthening through south central Utah. And then in areas like Cache Valley and also eastern Box Elder County, um, you can see a hard freeze warning tonight. Things are going to get really cold. So 3 o'clock tomorrow morning till 9 o'clock, uh, where we could be dealing with sub-freezing temperatures. If you've already planted your garden, it might be a good idea to cover some of those more sensitive plants. And as we dive into the afternoon in Salt Lake, showers are going to decrease in the Salt Lake Valley, low 50s. It's going to be a chilly, brisk afternoon. It'll, it'll feel a bit cooler than that because of the breeze. Low 40s in Park City, in areas like uh, St. George, you reach the low 70s. And our southern and central valleys, upper 50s, low 60s. That'll be the name of the game. game. And it'll feel chilly in areas of Salt Lake City tonight into tomorrow morning. We're going to drop back down to the mid to upper 30s. Now in St. George, uh, you have a beautiful couple days ahead of you. Here's the thing. You're going to get breezy again, specifically Wednesday ahead of that next storm. Friday, you're back in the 80s and this weekend you're dry, you're sunny. You've got the low to mid 90s. Things are really cranking it up a notch as we go into our weekend. Northern Utah, you start off cold tomorrow, but the afternoon is looking ideal. Low 60s. Oh, it's going to be so pretty. 70 on Wednesday, but Wednesday night into Thursday brings that next chance for valley rain and mountain snow. That's that next storm we've been talking about. It'll clear out Thursday afternoon will drop down to the low 60s. Not too bad, but by Friday we're fully drying out mid to upper 60s and this weekend the 70s are back 70s Saturday upper 70s on Sunday. So things are going to be looking great this upcoming weekend. If you need to finish any yard work, get outside, go for a hike.